message and I've, I have like messages daily saying I'm going to come and kill you and your kids. Obviously, I know they're not, but it's not nice. Or people like call my well, dad and mom. Way, since I had the, the hatred from that bitch. I had some beef. Um, do you know that there was another lady that done posts about me on this app uh, about last week, I think it was. And how from that post, uh, my daughter, they found her on Instagram. They inboxed her and said, we know you're Dave's daughter. We're going to rape you. What? They, they, listen, listen. They've also, again, made accounts up and called my twins Spazdick 1 and Spazdick 2. They have also, again, put my twin's head on fully grown males' naked bodies. This is what I mean, because the type of people... Thank you, Trish. It's all extended from one person's life. And like yeah, Jesse, like this Jesse. is what I'm saying. And the people in there, a lot of them are from that kind of era with the PLM and all that shit and the doxin and all that. A lot of them are from there. And but this is why I'm not forgiving Angie yet. Dave, this is why you need to stop enabling because, like you say, you got offended I'm by out, that. I'm out. Uh, Pagey, Pagey, no, let me just say No, but stay out this. then. Like, you've got to stay out. Because yeah, you yeah, see, let me what? just have this say then. Let me just uh, listen. I'm out. I'm done. I I fucking, I can't be doing with it myself. I don't want to see it myself. I But I'm, what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say it right with fucking chest, I get a lot of hate because most of the times I'm bickering with ladies, right? Now, the way I look at it is I'm how I've grew up and how I am. Look, you, if a lady comes to me or a man comes to me, I'm going to go back. Now, Angie went for me this morning. Believe me, for love no money, you, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm not going to be silent. I'm not going to be pulled down the card of thinking of mental health. I will wait till she's in a stable condition, and then I will come down like a ton of bricks, let me tell you now. And it's not because it's a lady. It's just because it's a lady that's come for me. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 do you know the thing is... Like, if she's big enough to come and say these things, like, even the other day on my FYP, she was saying something about Luke, something derogatory in regards to Luke and horses, and it might be in jest, but some people will run with that, and that's what this app is like, and it's just, like, ridiculous at this point. And she comes for people and then cries when they bite back. Like, most of my shit was retaliation. And I said, never just run to be started on anyone. She stated this morning that she'd had a phone call. Well, well, I didn't know this till I got in the box. And she stated she had a phone call with Pearl, and Pearl was saying the N word, N word, N word, N word, N word. So I went on with Pearl, and I said, Pearl, to be honest, if 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 she outs this video, you you, that is, you are racist. That's a racist <laughs> comment. And Pearl said, Dave, on my children's and my family's life. She, if she's, I will give her full permission to show anything whatsoever that she has got of evidence of me doing this. And there's oh. been no evidence. And Angie's always been one to say, I only go with evidence, not with accusations. But this morning, she went with accusations and there wasn't no evidence. Do you understand? Yeah, she does. And then she, I'm like, well, okay, we'll show it. And she can never show anything because it's a load of shit. But people just run with it and believe it. Like, I know be real. that she's not real. Her. If you're all real people in this chat, yeah, in the real world, fuck TikTok. TikTok's fucking deluded divvy shit. Yeah, let's be real, man. Turn TikTok off. You get back to your real friends, your real life. You make a few quid. You do what you got to do. You come on TikTok, have a fun. It's fucking bullshit. We don't know each other. And deep down, hardly any cunt gives a fuck about each other, yeah? But if you've got a lady that started on this app by fucking confessing that she fucking made love to her dog, exactly. and then the next story she goes along with was a disgusting story that she said about her own father. No disrespect, but at that point, where do you fit? And you don't think when someone says, I said it as a joke, I'm so sorry to say, but if you say them sick things but now about do your you own get, parents, Okay, so let me talk now. Though. Now do you get, though, when I was getting pissed off with you, yeah? And I was, like, getting angry yeah. with you and I was coming in your box, yeah? Because, like, not even angry, because I still, I can talk to anyone, I can have a conversation. But you see when was in your box and that, and it come to Angie, yeah. and we was getting wound up and everyone was shouting because you were saying things like, oh, you know, like, yes. both sides and blah, blah, blah. Like you said, if when you've gone into one woman's life, you're saying that's come for you, and then they've gone and done that utmost disgusting stuff. When you're sitting there saying, oh, dead, you're just as bad, but you're backing someone who's done exactly the same to us in terms of Angie. Yeah, my kids I, have I, been doxxed. My area's my hand been doxxed. I'm a fully grown man. I'm a fully grown man. And I will hold my hands up in front of 20,000 people on a football pitch or 700 people. I apologise because the way I was looking at it was, 
I thought, you know what? I ain't going to get involved. She hadn't really done out to me. So I don't want to get in the midst of this, right? But now she's done something to me. Now it's fucking done me. It's pissed me off. That's because I don't want to jump on someone else's battle. I only let, I'll only defend myself because I know how the app works. No, but that's the thing. Now you get that we've heard this, yeah? <laughs> 100% we weren't, now, it weren't a personal you. thing. This was not a, never a personal vendetta. Me, Alicia, and Tori never had a personal vendetta with Angie. We've sat in our box and had conversations with her, yeah? This is what people need to start realising. People only with people like Kai on this app, yeah, will, it will entertain it. And you've been sitting there like people saying doors because until it happens to you directly, people need to stop waiting until someone says something directly to them when they're just an overall wrong one. Because she's yeah. affecting and offending so many people. She's just not a good human being and she's being mon manipulated. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, 100%. I, I 100% now that lady is manipulated in the audience yeah she is and her people all blindly follow and they're hateful nasty people like everywhere i go every live i go in there's them people they'll be here recording now they're fucking weird and it's like i'm a strong person mentally, yeah. but at one point this really got to me where i had to take some time off because it was just too much can i answer that question dave i thought angie said you were only after sympathy and things with your mental health are faking it now listen with that question Anybody can judge anybody. Anybody can have an opinion, yeah? 100%. I'm not the kind of man that goes for sympathy. I don't know if you, you've heard how That's I speak. Sympathy. I don't know if you've heard how I act. I don't know whatever you think I need sympathy for. I'm fucking happy for the rest of my life. I'm comfortable for the rest of my life. I don't need to go and get sympathy from anything, okay? And mental health, number one, I ain't the kind of guy that goes around fucking using all these fucking nasty swear words and fucking giving it Johnny Big Bollocks like I do sometimes and then fucking belittle myself by using mental health as an excuse to get sympathy. Mental health is a real fucking thing. And the reason I come on this app and told everybody about my mental health was the fact that I wanted people to see that, you know what, if I can fucking come on here with a platform as, as, as big as it is, then the people in my chat have never got to sit in a dark room on their fucking own. They can go and speak out about And this is the thing, can I just quickly say, for everyone mentioning Laura, like, this is not shade, but I need everyone to really listen to it, because I say things with chess, and I'll come on camera specifically for this year. I'm not saying Laura's... This all started because I backed Laura. I need everyone to remember this. I started off because I went into Laura's life consistently, saw what was going on to her. I ran up my live, and I started a conversation about what Luke was saying, and then came in i got so much slack and touring and everyone else months of slack because of laura's mental health that i was protected and i've not seen one live that she's run up and invited me in to specifically discuss me when i'm getting attacked on an everyday basis i'm not saying she has to or she should i'm saying every live i don't have to mention one specific creator if i'm talking about myself for once and the people in the box do you understand if you want to address something specifically then i suggest like you know specifically bring up another live or we'll talk about it because I, off months and months and months, my mental health was completely ruined. My area was docked. My kids were put at risk. My kids were put at risk. My area was docked. I cried nearly every day off the back. And yeah, it's because of racism, but it's because I backed Laura. Racism happens and I've been fighting it. I you forget it every day for years on this app before anyone knew who I was. The reason it kicked off so much because I was back in Laura and I couldn't stand to see what was going on to this woman who was doing her thing, whether people liked her or not, and they were using racism as a form to get her. That's why I back and stuck for her. But I've not seen one live where she's had two hours or whatever where she's sitting there and saying, how is Paige? How is Torian? And I'm not saying she has to, but I clock these things. That's my point. So that's why, respectfully, every single live is not also about Laura. We all took backlash here and we all received racism. So that's what I'm going to say i'm not brushing anything under the carpet i'm not ignoring her but why the fuck because she's a bigger creator it has to be mentioned every time and we're just the little ones the small creators that took all the fucking flack and lost a lot of shit platform wise we've the ones that got permanent accounts gone banned we're the ones whose main areas consistently being a dox and our young children are now put at risk do you understand and no one gives a shit we don't have a big community where people can run in and go what about Paige and Toria? do you understand so that's why i'm saying i understand what she's going through but please don't ever disregard what we're going through by consistently bringing her up in terms of brushing it under the carpet when all we've done is back her and receive shit from it thank you well listen let me tell you now yeah i've got obviously got a big account and if we've got loads of people in there and you and any of your guys want to jump in and talk about anything you want to talk about in the future you are more than welcome to come and talk about whatever you want because i've just seen a different light i'm not fucking interested in the bullshit no more i'm gonna come on the app have a bit of fun 
um, and click off the app and get on back with my Thank normal you. life. But if there's anything that I can fucking help anybody if with, people I'm give a, a fuck about their kids, kids, they wouldn't be on this app. Oh, hey, that's crazy to say. Like, are you saying kids. because we have children and we push children out and we're mothers that we now must sit in the kitchen and bake our kids like fucking what's her name, Nara, Nara fucking Laura Croft or whatever her name is, and make mozzarella from scratch and just feed our man and go to bed and feed our kids and white bottoms all day? We can't go on TikTok for a couple of hours. Have a laugh. Your mum probably went to the pub and stuff. Your dad probably went out for a drink with his mates. Did you go and say anything like that? Do you know what I mean? Like. Okay, okay, okay. okay, that's fine. Sorry, because people say it all the time and it winds me up because I'm going to be real as well, yeah? Like, there's a lot of people out here, creators, that are just giving up cutesy cutesy and they're on here all day with their kids. All day. Yeah, I, I and like that nothing to them. There. I like that comment there. I've, I've like, not yet. Like, if people, do you know if a, a few of us or whatever, if you did, if we did probably have a conversation off the app before we even come to the app, I think we'd probably be on a level fucking, a level page. Because I think sometimes when it gets carried away in the boxes, the heat becomes from the chat, people start to divide. Okay, just baby. And I think that's where a lot of the tension comes from, from person to person that's in a box. And we're only human beings at the end of the day, uh, day of fuck, what the fuck have I just said? We're only human beings at the end of the day, guys, yeah? That's and we, this life ain't rehearsed, and we've all got a fucking heartbeat. We've got children, and we want to live a happy life. All you do is plot and scream off of the app. Well, what do I okay? plot? First of all, I don't scream. If you're talking about me, I cry a lot. I'm an emotional babe. Um, I don't really plan what I've got to say. I have ADHD. I wish I could. I just talk, um, whatever comes out of my mouth. And what do I plot? Tell me what, because I ain't taking over shit. I can't take over nothing. I can barely take over my own mental health. Like, what am I plotting? Please. Can I just ask power? if my Torian's okay? Hi, Torian. Does she know she's muted? Huh? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm just listening. Oh, you're rolling one, Bobby. Cool. You look cute today. You're scared. Hey, listen, I've got a plan. So, why don't we go for food? All in each other. Kim, get out of here. I'm not even starting to react to these people anymore. I'm just going to start. Yeah, that's the. That's, see, I've got my main account back tonight at half past nine. And I don't give two shits what anybody says. I'm sub chat from the word go. <laughs> I'm just a day. You three girls are credits to your phone and jams on this. Thank you so much, Jordan. Honestly, thank you. I can't, yes. put, another, I can't put another thousand diamond so. treasure box up. I can't find the treasure box. That's the treasure box. Yeah, I do, Shawnee. I think some of them are in. Oh, I need yeah, to unmod some and people. And you apologised. To Torian and Paigey, then? I don't know. Apparently, I don't know. Tisha's apologized to you. Apparently, she said something about it, but I've not been there. I've been out all day. And yeah, like, so basically, she basically okay. apologized. And you've accepted it? I didn't accept that. I just said that I appreciate oh. your apology. Yeah, I appreciate you saying it, like, but I'm not accepting it. I just appreciate it. I think. I can't look, it. My opinion on this, and I said to Angie as well, like, earlier, um, We've been here before, innit? Like, yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna be there tonight, you know, at nine o'clock as well, don't you? What's you gonna do, happen at nine o'clock? Well, well, it's so much gonna happen again tonight. I mean, but she's uh, she's uh, I, I, right, Jess. The only thing I will say to this, Jess, Dave, since you're being sincere, who took Laura's sheep? I really can't talk about this situation for some reason that's happening yet, but I can literally say this. On me children's goddamn life, on me grandmother's grave, and on my parents' fucking deathbed, I have no idea whatsoever what happened to them sheep. I have. I am not a man that would go and want to slaughter any animal or would want to go and pinch an animal. That's just not in me. It's just... I know you know 100% Jess. I, 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 I don't know if you understand when I swear on my children's life, but I swear on my children's life and no no man or lady ever, 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 ever swears fucking on their children's life if it's fake. On my children's life, I haven't got a fucking foggiest. I have not got a clue. <coughs> I got animals myself, so I wouldn't like anybody to come and like fucking do anything to my animals as retaliation. So why would I do something to someone else's? Yeah, please, I beg. I'm not the sheep again. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, that's I'm not definitely not me. I'm not doing this. Like, I literally just said, like, Respectfully, all my lives recently have been about backing other people, supporting other people, yeah. and yeah. and ba backing other people's trauma and upset. Like, for once, I just want to talk about how I'm pissed off. I'll yeah, be so yeah. real, and I, that's all I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about sheep. I don't want to talk yeah, about like, having to back platform. anyone else. I want to yeah. talk about people taking the piss out of us as people in general. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. 
And I'm here for the grief. If anybody wants to give me the grief, I'll take it on the chin. I'll take it like a man and time start again. Sometimes you've got to be the better person sometimes and you've got to say, you know what, I'm out, I'm done, I'm sorry. You know? I'm here to kick off. Oh, kick really? off now. Thank you, Anna Mano. Why are you here to kick off? Guys, don't send me no gifts, please. I don't want no gifts. Torian, you look very pissed off if you don't mind me asking. Mm? You look very pissed off. I'm calm. That's just her face. Oh, you got a bitch face. I need some rank one. Yeah, I'm calm. I'm just one of those days. Yeah, I do just want to scrap hide in. Uh, have I gone quiet? Hmm? My guys, this, this is Paige's live. This ain't Dave's live. I mean, you're more than welcome to attack me in the comments, but you definitely ain't going to get any retaliation. Thank you, guys. You're not going to get a retaliation, but I don't mind you putting anything you want to put. That's up to you. So what, has Dave and Angie fell out? Are you lot not uh, friends either? Well, I think she came in the room. Uh, look, Thank you, Lord. I'm not, don't want it because she's intoxicated. I don't want to be the reason. Who's to, intoxicated? Uh, okay. Angela. You can do anything. When she's had a drink, there's no point because whatever. Oh. No, but it ain't that issue as well. I don't want to be the fucking reason someone fucking yeah. pushes herself a bit too far because they're intoxicated. So. Yeah, I mean, people need to Fair understand enough. as well. Like, this is her whole life. This app is everything. Yeah. She wakes up, she goes to sleep, everything is TikTok. So, as much as I dislike her, I she has only well, got TikTok. Yeah, and I wouldn't try and push her over the edge. Like, I just wanted to stay over with her weird people and for them to just leave everyone alone. Oh. Yeah, um, it's as simple as that, really. I'd stop, like, trying to create hate campaigns against people that are just doing their thing. Oh, she showed the video when I sung earlier. Why? Because I sung a yeah, song. Day. She's, quiet. She's done the choir to wait for the next part. I just, look, yeah. I don't care about the apologies. I don't, I got, um, flagged for you got, putting harassment. Yeah, you got come back, you got harassment. Um, I don't <laughs> forgive it. We'll be reporting him. This is what's going to happen now. He'll be reported continuously. I've had it, you've had it, T's had it. It's a continuous thing. Like, that's what they do. It's annoying. No, it really is. That's what I mean. Though. I can see what she's doing. Like, it's very clear. It's just like the EQ thing, like I said. I don't want to know about it after the fact you've fallen out with them. Like, if they've done something mad and racist, like... And you felt uncomfortable or bad, you just come out and say it there and then. Do you understand? Mm. You don't wait. You don't wait and use it as leverage. I Hi, genuinely you. don't think. I know that Paul's a racist, but I genuinely don't think that she sat there and said the N word continuously on the phone to Angela. I really, really don't. I just don't think Paul would be comfortable enough to trust. I think they're both as devious. Their whole friendship, I think, was based on lies and deviousness. Yeah, I just feel like. I don't think Pearl would be dumb enough to even comfortably say it because she knows that one time and you would come out and say it. Do you know That's what I mean? Door, Sorry. Do you know what? I'll be real. I just, I don't know from either of them. Because... That's what I mean, though. Like, even if she said, I think she would say, I don't ever get me wrong. I 100% think Pearl would say the N-word, do you understand? But I'm saying as a manipulative person that she is, yeah, because she's so manipulative. She knows what she's doing in this whole, like, that's why she don't openly say the N-word or ra openly say racist mad things that like when Angie's drunk here, because Pearl knows how to do it in them sly ways to get away with it. Whether she was friends with Angie or not, do you think she'd say it to Angie who gets drunk out of her head, yeah? who accidentally might sting you on her, or they fall out every now and then anyway. She knows it'd be used as leverage. Unless they do just get that comfortable nowadays where they really do think these people are... They haven't are... fell out, though. They have. What, from the last time? From, like, two days ago. Yeah, I'm saying they fell out now, but I'm saying before that, they only had that one falling out. They haven't fell out yeah, since. Yeah, you forget how they met, though, Torian. We met Harvey back in power on her stage room. No, they, were, they were beefing heavily. Like, they were going to have a boxing match. Angie was calling her a nonce. Pearl was calling her... Yeah, I'm, I know. I remember all of that. But I'm saying after that, they became friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I'm saying after that, when they became friends, they didn't fall out up until now. Right? Yeah, no. No. Or did they fall out again? No, they didn't in between that. No. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So realistically, they've only had one falling out. They haven't had continuous fallouts. So I feel like Pearl probably would... you got to understand, yeah, in the space of when so. they've become friends, yeah, a lot has happened. A yeah. lot has happened, yeah? From the time that she's called uh, Laura an orangutan, from oh. that, a lot has happened, whether it's racism, whether it's whatever. Do you get mm. what I'm saying? And I do feel that both of them, both of them got comfortable in their relationship. Yeah. And I feel like that's why both of them, at first, didn't want to expose no messages or do none of that stuff. And I just feel like 
As in, they kept, that's why they kept the friendship I, I, I probably like for so long. I feel she would say the N-word. Whether she said it how Angela said she said it, I feel like 100%. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely believe that she would have said it in general. Like 100%. She, I don't think she's not, oh, she'd never say it. Of course, 100%. A million percent. No, I do think it's like that we all the time. I, think, I know that Angie lies. And the thing is, if she did say it on the phone to Angie, why is Angie not then saying, hang on a minute, why are you saying that? I don't, you know, that's that's not okay. So I asked her and I said, so what was your response when she was saying that? And she was like, nothing, yeah, I just stayed exactly. quiet. Like, I feel like, do you know what I feel like? I feel like I should hold a live later, Angie in the corner, Pearl in the corner. <laughs> no, 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 I'm being so serious. I swear Thank to God, yeah, because I think it's time we take control sure. of our situation, bro. Thank and then Sophie. they have Thank it you, out Lindsay. and then you'll know in it who's the real Thank liar you, and who's you. really not the liar i'm scared i'm shook off thank you lady well, thank I'm, you, I'm, I'm being so serious thank you, you do you think they'd come life. though do you think they'd come thank you i think angie life. would i don't know about pearl i don't think, I think pearl angie would. would i don't think pearl would come it's pearl who i don't pearl think would come tea. she's drunk thank you Katie. Who, pearl's thank drunk as well angela Thank you, Chris. Because you know what? Thank it wouldn't be biased because I got I had an issue you. with both of you lot. So I'm I don't do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I feel no, like I just, I just would... think Pearl's shook, I'm huh? saying. I think she's just shook. I just don't oh, think thank you so oh, much, guys, for the heart. I think I don't think she'd come to a live like that. She barely even pops up when we're there. Do you know what I mean? Um one sec, guys. Whatever page, mate. Yeah, Angie's not in a fit state to have a serious conversation. Well, let's all go on mute. Yeah, she is, Michelle. Shall we ditch her? She said the only people she's not apologising to is me and Baguette. No one wants your dusty apology. No one wants fuck all from you. Yeah, but Mandy, a lie detector's real. Do they work? I don't think it matters. I think we all know Pearl's a red like we've seen her right. with monkeys, orangutans. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you. Yeah, like it's very clear. She sits there and laughs and's like, yeah, I'm a racist. Yeah, like she we've seen that. So even Thank if you, Mother hasn't said that, we all know already Thank that you. she's a racist. Just, it's absolutely just wild. It's just crazy that they use. I hate when people use such things like that that are upsetting and affecting people, like racism and stuff like that, to try and turn it around and be like, oh, but they said this to try and make a hate train. It's disgusting. Thank you, Kaylee. Thank you so much, guys. Thank she's you. like, oh, I totally forgot that she continuously used the N word on a call to me. Liar. That's what I mean. Like, and you state you're only saying it now. And if Angie weren't, like, you know, had any kind of racist claims within herself, you wouldn't be able to sit there. Because let's be real, you can sit there and say, okay, you was quiet on the phone, yeah? But, like, you would come out and say it. Like, you'd call them out by text or say it on the light. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. people that aren't racist don't just sit there with big platforms and she's loud. She's not shy. She's not quiet. Thank she's not scared. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.